Welcome back one and all to the Project Cars Career Series here on Box 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 Gaming. I am of course Justin and today we will not be driving in carts because uh, it seems that you know people are a little bit over the carts. Really I am too if I'm being honest. Like the carts are fun but I'm not trying to spend hours and hours and hours driving 125cc carts really. Um, I got the one trophy or whatever I won a championship or something so this is fine that's fine we'll leave it at that um, so we are gonna skip this cart club trophy which is like an invitational there's only like three rounds um, so we're going to yep jump to my next event here we go road entry club UK cup it's four rounds first round is at Ulton Park it looks like it's in the Caterham Super 7 is the car uh, which is a fantastic little car um, it looks like we are gonna get a practice session so here we go this is more sort of what I was expecting from so uh, I'll be able to do uh, basically one video for this round um, and let's see what is the next is it practice qualifying and then two races or just one race uh, session length is at 15 minutes that's for the practice session I believe um, oh, select car. Oh, okay, I can change my livery here. Okay. Oh, I like some of these choices. The all black is nice. Ooh, that's nice too. Orange metallic. I like that. Oh, oh my. Oh my. Hey, whoa, whoa. No, no, no. I want the bronze. Okay. There we go. I think I selected it. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, we'll do a 15-minute practice session. That sounds about right. <clears throat> and let's see what we could do in this Caterham Super 7. Oops. I got stuff next to me here. I got to uh, plug some other things for work. This All right. Oh! Round start with a practice session where you can get a feel for the car and the truck. You can use the session overview screen to monitor the other cars, accelerate time, simulate the session, or skip directly to the end. Well, let's just make sure all of my, I don't even see where the option for the, uh, I don't know what this sound, you know what, you know what, I'm just going to get out of here, yep, just, let's drive, whatever's going to stop this weird revving, revving sound that's going on. <clears throat> okay, when's it going to give me control? Pretty sure we already passed the pit exit. It's a weird location. <laughs> Freezing cold tires, of course. Okay, this is an interesting layout that I have definitely never done. Okay, wow, so we skipped that chicane. This is a very interesting layout indeed. Wow, that's a pretty high-speed corner. This is one of the things I really do like about Project Cars, is the uh, the various layouts that they have of all the different tracks and everything. I get some temperature in these tires. See, and like, I might have problems with tire warm-up in this session, but it might be because of the position of the sun being as low as it is. So, it's like, I don't, I don't know if I should lower the, the, the tire pressures um, to get better temperature in this session, or, you know, is that going to cause overheating? In it? Oh, wow. Yeah, I, I need to not break for that corner. Oh, no.
Yeah, so that's just flat out, pretty much. I mean, again, I just, I can't get any sort of heat in these tires. I mean, and correct me if I'm wrong, but like, you know, sport tires, cars, or uh, tires for sports cars, are, aren't, aren't so temperature dependent versus like, you know, tire, real race car tires, you know, like those are designed to really have like an operating range and stuff. I'm pretty sure uh, regular road tires or sports car tires or all weather tires really, you know, work in pretty much any temperature. Marginal differences, but I don't think as big as this game is claiming. Okay, okay. Okay. Why am I neutral? Okay. Did he clip me? I think he clipped me. Tire's still not up to temperature. His car handles great, but uh, obviously does not have much power at all. Nope, that's a bit too much speed. That's a bit too much speed. That's too much curb. That's way too much curb. Let's go ahead and uh, head back and lower these tire pressures. Because this is like just way too much for these temperatures. Let's save. Go, go, go. Let's drive. About nine minutes left in the session. is probably enough time to get at least six or seven laps in or so. Maybe maybe eight, I don't know. Depends on what sort of lap times I'm finding. Probably six or seven. So I'm going to try just a lift for this. Yep. That seems like plenty. I do like Goulton Park as a circuit, must be said. Is second best for this corner, I'm wondering? Maybe not. I'm, uh, I'm still debating. I'm not taking the corner very well, which is uh, preventing me from deducing exactly what gear would be best for said corner. can carry a little bit more speed through turn one there. Not loads more. Oh, wow, well, wow, well, wow. Well.
I feel like I could definitely carry more speed through the uh, through those right handers there. I, I'm not sure exactly. I think third is the way to go through the final corner there. I think that's the fastest I've taken it so far. Yeah, this is a uh, yeah three seconds faster. Holy crap! Okay, a little too much, a little bit too much. I think that guy was just coming out of the pits, I'm pretty sure. Woo! That corner is exciting. Well, I got one tire up to temperature. <laughs> Just the one so far, though. We go two more tires up to, up to temperature so yeah this is much better but again that's for this session I have no idea if, the, if the, uh, these, these temperatures are gonna be right for the for the race session there we go that's about as fast as I could take turn one not too much more time for me to find there this is gonna be a big lift right here by quite a few tenths <clears throat> so far. It's a pretty, pretty decent lap in comparison. Oh wow, just drifting that entire corner. That got intense. Let's actually take a quick replay. I want to see the replay of that. Yeah! <laughs> oh, just drifting this tiny little thing. Oh, man. I do love this color, though, on this car. That really is fantastic. One more time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's a shame I couldn't just keep it on the circuit. That would have been a lot better. Oh, well. Go ahead and jump back into... Uh, since my lap time was invalidated anyway. Whoa, whoa, ho, ho, ho. Okay, well that's gonna kinda hinder the start of this next lap, but that's all right. I mean, I've been in P1 for quite some time now. It does seem I have quite a bit of pace over the AI. Too much curb. The curb seems really flat at the entrance to turn one, but uh, then it really kinda elevates up a little bit and it so it looks inviting. It's like, come on, you can use me. I won't, I won't bite. But then it does bite. It totally bites. Almost the exact same thing. The problem is the weight transfer. Uh, when I put on the brakes, uh, it, the, all, all the weight shifts forward on the car and the back end goes light. And that's why the back end is stepping out in that high speed corner. Enough time for two more laps. Use 
losing all of the track and then some. Probably should have gone down to third gear. Yep, I should have gone down to third gear. Oh ho 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 ho! This is a good lap. This is a good lap. Six tenths up right now, almost seven tenths now. Yes, 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 the Overseer was actually quicker that time, I do believe. Really didn't lose much time at all. Too much curb, too much curb, too much curb. I'm gonna lose a couple of tens there because of that. Yep, six, 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 mark of the beast. Uh, trying the dr drifting overtake did not work out there. Gonna practice some overtaking. Oh, this guy's defending so hard. Nope. Yep, tough luck, buddy. <laughs> this is with a lot of fuel on board, actually. Yeah, that's one thing I've not been paying attention to is how much fuel I've been using. Sorry, I, I've been I was looking down at the fuel and stuff. Okay. Uh, I wonder if I could work it out. I don't I think it was maybe only like two liters per lap, something something really, really light like that. Go ahead, continue to qualifying. Oh my god, I'm aware of what qualifying is. Thank you very much, though. I do appreciate that. Uh, let's do... Yeah, let's take this down to, like... I'm pretty sure 24 is going to be more than enough. Or right, let, let's leave this at 36, just, just in case. I don't know how long the race is. Take this down to 24 just to really find some extra time. And actually, I didn't even pay attention. Uh, I didn't see the practice times. So that screen came up, I just clicked right past it. Um, I'm pretty sure I was P1, but I, don't see, I didn't see what the gap was, so I'm not sure how much faster I am than them. I believe the AI difficulty should be still at 95. Gosh, I hope it is. Yeah, see, it's, it's, the sun seems higher in this session than it was in the last one which makes me worried that it's going to be hotter, which means my lower pressures are going to be a bad thing. Now I'm going to break pretty early for this one let the weight balance or the weight distribution settle up before I turn in for the corner. Just like that. It, you can still take the corner pretty quickly. It's that, that weight transfer. That's what causes the back end to step out. For those of you guys who might be, uh, you know, doing the career mode yourself and you're running into these same sort of races. That sort of information can be pretty useful. Obviously, car cars like this one have pretty soft suspensions, uh, which means there's a lot of weight transfer. I'm 
not just uh, front to back, but also from side to side as well. You can use weight transfer to your advantage, though, in um, in the car. You can use weight transfer to give yourself some extra grip or to give yourself some extra oversteer if you learn how to anticipate the weight transfer. Uh, that's that's more like you, you got to be in a car for that sort of like I find that hard to do in a sim obviously because you don't get that floaty feeling when the when the tires break loose like you do in real life uh, which is why I will always say that I'm a way better driver in real life than I am in sim racing because I just you miss out on a lot of the sensations I mean obviously you can see and hear everything and you can sort of feel it in the wheel in your hands but there's so much more to a racing car than just feeling it with your hands feel it all around you becomes like an extension of your body Definitely could have carried a little bit more speed through that final corner. It's very tough to judge that corner for some reason for me, personally. It's P1 though. Tire's almost up to temperature finally, because we're almost done with qualifying. Dude, I watched you come out of the pits. I know this is your outlap. So you better not freaking hold me up. He's gonna hold me up, isn't he? He's gonna absolutely hold me up. This is gonna give me PTSD flashbacks to F1 2013 co-op mode with Miko. Yep, and I am losing time now. This guy is a dick. This guy's a dick. Oh, you're such a dick, dude. Why are you such a dick? Why are you such a dick? Okay, okay, I wouldn't have expected that corner to be a pat overtaking location, but it appears that it is. And look, he didn't back out of it, and he ended up off the circuit. Yeah, I've noticed, uh, I think it was Alex Gillen was talking about it, they just, the, the AI just doesn't back out of it. They, they will not back out to their own detriment. Whoa, my God. <laughs> Holy crap. That was a hell of a slide. I want to see that one more time, actually. Uh, 
Ja. I'm not sure if there's going to be any tire smoke, but I was sliding through that entire corner. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Are there... Uh... Nope, that's to go to the end. Can, can I, like, drag it? No. I gotta say, I'm unimpressed with the replay system. I, I don't know if it's... if I'm missing something, but as far as I can tell, there's just this one angle. There's only one off-board camera angle that you can utilize. Um, there's not like camera one, camera two, camera three, like, I mean, even Assetto Corsa has multiple camera angles for various tracks and stuff. Um, I, so I gotta say, I'm a little disappointed in Project Cars for that. Wow. I really did like that corner. The replay, for such a, for having such a beautiful game, you would think the replay system would be better, that's all. Um, wow, and I'm actually 1.4 seconds up on the next person. So, let's go ahead and skip to the race. Well, that's unfortunate. I hope I don't end up winning by that much. I think I'm going to have to up the uh, AI to 100, but I'm pretty sure that just makes them more aggressive, not faster. Good to see my tires already up to temperature, though. Okay, this is only a three lap race, so I mean, this is just a little sprint. And I'm not sure if there's another race after this one or not. But uh, knowing that I'm this much faster than the AI, I'm just gonna sort of take it easy. As I drift that corner, <laughs> clearly taking it easy, as you can tell. And this is where the gap starts to grow, I think. They're not flat out through that one corner, and they need to be flat out through that one corner. And again, the gap continuing to grow. Missed my apex a little bit through that one, but I did carry a good amount of speed, so... Once again, I'm pulling away from second place, actually. I break too much for turn one, but nope, doesn't matter. Gap is still getting bigger. Oh my. corner is all about turning the wheel as little as possible and just really trying to carry as much speed as you possibly can which sounds obvious but seriously just trying to keep the wheel from turning as as little as possible just want the minimal amount of resistance A little bit better that time, really using a lot of the track too. That felt like a good corner. And I did pull out a couple more tents through that corner. Final lap went by very quickly. Oh no, that's a big slide. That's a big slide. 
There is absolutely no way I am going to let this guy beat me <laughs> after, after being this much faster than them. <laughs> I swear to God, if I get dive bombed, I'm going to be pissed. All right. And that is the win, and I don't think I'm going to bother with the replay on that one, because, whoo, that was pretty boring. Um, yep, and that's the whole thing. <laughs> that's the whole thing. <laughs> that's it. Uh, wow, okay, so I did 15 minutes of practice to do a five-minute long race. That's a little disappointing. Is there something I can do to make this longer. Uh, ah, here we go. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, so you can you can go through the individual sessions. So I could say um, I want fi 15 minutes of qualifying or, or practice and 10 minutes of qualifying and then I can set it to like a five lap race or something like that. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do the next one right now, um, and I'm going to put it on five laps. Um, but when this video comes out, I wouldn't mind having you guys leave a comment and let me know how long you would like these races to be. If you're looking for something, uh, you know, more in the, like, 30-minute range, I'm willing to do that. Um, but if you guys, you know, want to keep it pretty short... Um, if you'd rather I skip the practice sessions, you know, let me know, uh, whatever you guys think is best, because obviously, uh, it's for you. Um, so whatever you guys want, just let me know in the comments, uh, if you have any specific requests as far as session lengths, race lengths, anything like that, replays, you know, if you want to replay, even if the race is boring, let me know and I'll get on that. So thanks for watching. I will see you in the next episode, which I'm about to record right now.